Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the Unexpected Strategy TN. This is the new TN that was added to the Dragon Ball Summons from the World Tournament. I did not go over it yet when it came out a couple weeks ago. I did want to make sure that I at least covered it. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video than what I typically do. Um, so, by the way, I did pull him. Uh, spoilers, I don't even know if I recorded that one. I know I did get him, though, so I was super hyped about that. I'm very happy that I got him. I still haven't used him. I don't have any dupes of him. Um, so, but we're going to go ahead and jump into it and what I think we should be doing with this card. By the way, before I get into that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new here, please help show your support of the channel i would highly appreciate uh anyway unexpected strategy tn leader abilities intelligence type hp and attack plus 50 percent super attack four witches technique supreme damage raises attack and defense by 30 percent for six turns this guy does not have a doken awakening yet by the way guys that's going to be insane to see what happens when he gets a doken awakening uh, I don't know if they're going to change that or not. They might increase by maybe 35%, uh, which wouldn't be too uh, crazy, but it's still insane if you think about it. Passive skill, double trouble, high chance to launch up to two additional attacks, each of which, ha which has a high chance to become a super attack. Uh, link skills are Crane School, um, Master and Pupil, and Fighter, the incredible adventure guidance to the Dragon Balls. Now, because of his link skills, he doesn't have that many people he can link well with. Uh, definitely Dragon Ball-oriented team is going to be something that you're going to want to consider due to the guidance of the Dragon Balls and Incredible Adventure being very, very well, uh, being very useful link skills on that type of team. Category is, is World Tournament, which is definitely not viable. When he gets a Doken Awakening, maybe, uh, you definitely want to run the highest, um, the highest rarity that you could run, the highest cost that you could run to increase the amount of drop rates uh, that you can possibly get. Uh, for uh, the actual Hercule statues. That's currently what the World Tournament team is used for in-game anyway. It's September 2018, so if you're watching, it's like a year in the future and they have other uses, or if TN was added to another category, we do not know about that at this time. Uh, so, uh, max stats are going to be um, HP of 6621, attack of 7795, and defense of 3908. Now, he's a cool-looking card, so I wouldn't, you know, you know, I wouldn't blame you if you would put some dupe system into him. Uh, base dupe system is HP of 7821, attack of 8995, defense of 5108. Not that bad for a free-to-play Dragon Ball uh, card, or OG Dragon Ball card. He does have the four hands, too, which is just so freaking insane. Um, max, un max unlock dupe system is HP of 9621, attack of 10795, and defense of 6908. Uh, not the highest defense in the game, not really that great for defensive purposes, but he's cool. He's meant more for attack anyway, uh, with his high chance to launch two additional attacks with a high chance of becoming super attack. It kind of gives me mixed feelings about it. I want to give him doubles because of his super attack, which is awesome. If you get double super attacks off, I mean, just from that alone, plus the additional uh, attacks that he can get, this guy could do a lot of freaking damage, consistently giving himself attack buffs, and that's for six turns, mind so if he, let's just say, for instance, he gets three attacks in one turn because you gave him full additionals, he's going to get three full super attack, uh, which is a 90% attack increase. And that's for six turns. And every time he gets a super attack, it goes up, 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 and up. So like if that's what, three times six is what, 18? And then 18 times 30, 18 times 30, uh, 30, there we go. A 504 multiplier added onto a super attack, um, which can be really freaking good. Obviously, that's best case scenario, assuming this all works out. Um, honestly, though, I would say probably give him a mixture of double attacks and crits, or if you just don't even want to deal with it, just give him full crits, because I could not blame you. The high chance of launching two additional attacks actually would be four, so it's even higher than what I even said before. Um, so it would, yeah, so because I did times 30, yeah, 18 times 30, it wouldn't be, um, because it would be, what, six times, uh, four, uh, no, it would be six times four, because it launched two additional attacks plus that additional, so six times four is 24, and it would be 24 times 30. Um, 24 times 30 is 720. Oh my god, this guy. I want I want this to happen. Um, but I would honestly say that giving him crits is not a bad idea either. Um, he's acquired from the World Tournament Prizes, going to the Dragon Ball Saga Summon. You can increase his super attack for free, which you can do by increasing, uh, by getting the Strike Event TN. Uh, he has 50% chance to launch up to two additional attacks, each of which has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack. So 25% chance to get a super attack, pretty much what it comes out. Um, this is the TN that you could increase a super attack with. It's the Beyond Limits TN. Go to Full Fighter, uh, Full Hearted Fighter. Get him at uh, SR. You could Z Awaken him for 50% chance. Or if you want to go the full route, if you have this any to spend, I did. I got a whole bunch of them, but that's really for the LR TN. Go ahead and get him awakened with the TN Maker's Mark. Or with the TN Maker's Mark. I'm thinking whiskey. With the TN's Mark Metal. Um, you can go ahead and get him Doken Awaken to his, um, uh, his SSR form. Z Awaken him one more time. When he gets Z Awaken... Uh, he will get a 100% chance to increase. The reason why it's a little bit of pain in the butt to do it is because it requires Gregory medals, and those are the most used medals in game, but you will have a 100% chance to increase his super attack. 
Uh, so go ahead and do that if you want, if you want to. Uh, you could, you also run a 50% chance. Um, if we hold it to what it is, 50% chance, uh, it's only 40 Gregory medals per chance to get it to increase. Uh, but there's a there's a shot where it will take like 25 freaking of those TNs to get a super attack increase to level 10. I just go, we'll go with the guaranteed because I'd like it. Anyway, in terms of the best linking buddy in game, it's the TUR variant of of himself. Uh, the LR does not is not part of this, so it's literally just the TUR version of himself for four link skills, and I did three or more. So he has Crane School, Master and Pupil, The Incredible Adventure, and Guidance to the Dragon Balls. Unfortunately, the Tien and Shiaotu cannot be run on the same team as the LR Tien and Shiaotu. So if you're looking to like maximize him, this is going to be the best way to do it, uh, just because he's Guidance to the Dragon Balls and Crane. There's nothing really else there, though. I mean, um, what is it? Master uh, Infighter is the only other one that you would want to have uh, a link with in terms of uh, attack buffs. So this isn't that bad. Uh, we move over here to Mono Intelligence team. You have the Master Roshi or the Jackie Chun, which is the Incredible Adventure and Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and the same thing with the Elder Demon Kim Piccolo. The same two link skills, so 20% and two key. Not bad, but that's all he has to link with on a Mono Intelligence team. Uh, and for those of you who don't have a lot of World Tournament units, you're going to be running them on the World Tournament team that you're going to use to go up against uh, the Hercule Challenge. Uh, you don't really need to worry too much about links on this, but maybe one day in the future you will. We already talked about uh, Jackie Chun. We already talked about the TUR version of the Tien and Chiaotu. The LR variant only links with two. It's uh, Crane School, Master, and Pupil. Uh, and the other one is going to be the Goku, which is two key for Incredible Adventure and Guidance of the Dragon Balls as well. So not that great. Now, mind you, I don't really want to get into a team building guide for World Tournament. If you're doing it, I would recommend running the LRTN and Chiaotu because it's all types of attack and defense plus 100%. It makes you kill the Roshi a lot quicker, so that way you can get those drops. But anyway, guys, that's really it. There's really nothing too much to talk about. Uh, again, uh, you either I would either recommend going full crit or full additional, probably full crit just because he has the three, three super attacks. If you want to give him additionals, I wouldn't blame you as well. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.